Land for Wildlife program conserves all sorts of different habitats from grasslands like the ones that we have at the airport here all the way through to tall forests and often the clear crystal streams with endangered species like the giant freshwater crayfish and on places like Bruni Island where there's the important 40 spotted pytalote there's people growing white gums which are critical habitat for that species so depending on where you are in Tasmania uh, the, the program has lots of benefits for a lot of different species and habitats. So the Land for Wildlife program is a voluntary conservation scheme which basically allows private landholders to conserve their natural habitats and often those habitats are not uh, well represented in, in other protected areas so it's a great chance for some of the less protected species and habitats to be conserved. So the Tasmanian Land Conservancy and the Land for Wildlife program it was a fantastic opportunity for us to work with a local Tasmanian organisation with similar values, recognising how we're managing these nationally listed grasslands and salt marshes through the Land for Wildlife program gives the Hobart Airport and Tasmanian Land Conservancy the opportunity to promote what private landowners can do and maintain viable businesses as well as a viable environment. The landholders sign up for this program because they already care about the environment and often they're already doing a lot of work to conserve the habitats on their property and they join the Land for Wildlife program for a number of reasons. One of them is that they can form part of a community with other people in their area and exchange ideas about how to best protect the habitats. It lets other people in the community know that that's what they stand for and it often has the flow-on effect of other people joining the program and wanting to be part of that conservation community as well.